Hi, Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to show you real quickly um, the report that we added to version 4.4.02. And it's the cost per mile or cost per hour report. And you can find it by clicking reports and then all equipment reports and then down at the very bottom of that you'll see where it says cost miles or cost slash miles slash hours report we'll open that up and on this screen we can select which equipment we want to see the report on and you can select by equipment you can choose what kind of groups you want to do you can do it by equipment type um, per customer uh, per location or a specific department slash area and or you can just do your whole fleet if you want to just click and you want to do uh, select everything below here you can click this little checkbox right here that'll select all the equipment and uh, so we'll just I'm gonna look for some trucks here so I'm gonna choose by equipment type I'm gonna go to uh, truck slash tractor We've got a few listed here, so I'm just going to grab a few of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to report based upon uh, fuel log, work orders, insurance, license fees, and depreciation amount. Um, because these uh, these trucks are not using uh, they're using work orders and not using the repairs completed or parts for this equipment. So uh, if you're using both repairs completed and work orders or parts for this equipment and work orders, you can choose to uh, print out the report based upon those items, but you might get some overlap if you've uh, added uh, parts for this equipment from work orders. So you're going to get some duplication there. So you want to usually choose just one or the other. And then you want to choose a date range. And here, this is a little bit older database, so I'm going to go back to 20, beginning of 2012. And we'll, so we're going to choose a year and a day. And that adds that in there. And then the uh, current day is January 31st, 2013. I'm just going to leave that as the final day. And it'll just pull the, the last um, odometer reading from the vehicle and display that to us uh, that we have in there. So we'll go ahead and click on preview report and you can see here that the uh, beginning odometer reading and ending odometer reading we have uh, on this vehicle here 067 we have 66912 and that reading was captured on January 3rd 2012 and then the ending odometer reading we have 96261 and that was captured on July 18th 2012 we have a total miles traveled of 29,349 miles and we have a cost per mile of 64 cents and then we down ha have down here we have the uh, work order labor total and we have the work order parts total and we have the work order grand total for that period of time then we have here all the fuel used uh, cost wise during that period of time and you can see here the Repairs were NA because we didn't choose that. Parts are NA because we didn't choose that. Depreciation, insurance, and license, we chose those, but they don't have any information in there, so it's just given us zeros because those are all zero values. And then we have our total cost for that period of time of $18,914.93 on that vehicle. So same thing with each of the other uh, vehicles down below. And then in the report, we have the grand total overall for the whole report. So for you could choose an entire group of vehicles and see what you're getting cost per mile for that group of vehicles. And so we've done that with these three. And we can see the total miles traveled. Here we see the uh, overall cost per mile for these three vehicles uh, combined is uh, 49 cents per mile. And uh, if we had, uh, if we were basing on cost per hour, if uh, there were hours, meters, readings, on the uh, equipment that we could find out what our cost per hour was and then we have our work order uh, labor totals our work order parts totals and our total work orders uh, cost uh, listed here for all three of these vehicles total fuel cost for these three vehicles and then our overall total cost for those three vehicles
So I hope that report is helpful for you on this version and uh, look forward to showing you some more features in the near future. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Take care.